Hello guys and welcome back. You know how we do it on Novax in the over there. First thing first, restless bones. Let's get a pet going. Do I see corpses out here? No, that's not a corpse. That's just a rhino. Soon to be a corpse. Of course, I only have 14 mana, so it's not a good time to fight yet. Let's rest up first, but check out all these things are blue. Tons of blue stuff. So I'm going to have fun leveling up here for a bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to go for this Sarnak Berserker. I was running back up to the north side, the north east side of the zone, because there's a ruins with some Sarnaks in there. Uh, I think they're knights. I'm not sure, but I'm going to check the level and see about killing a couple of those. But then I see this Berserker on the way there. So, well, let's take the Berserker out. I'm low on mana, but that's okay only thing I need to give myself is vampiric embrace probably all right and then just uh, we'll pull them with engulfing darkness it's a blue con so it's gonna be challenging but should not give me any serious issues but I wanted to make that trip over to the other side of the zone while I still have spirit wolf active because running right now it's much better and there's one of those tells accordingly you take four of those tells and you can turn them in for some quest XP turn that music down a little the background music's a little too loud right <clears throat> okay so he's got a dot on him and the pets finishing him off while I get some Let's see, we're at 71% XP. Wow, I'm almost all the way through level 36 now. Incredible, I'm going to be level 37 soon. Looks like my skeleton is having a lot of trouble finishing off this fight. He's not even hitting him. Oh, there he goes. He took some damage. And Gulf of Darkness runs out, so you know. That's, that's my cue. So we can keep fighting more of those, but I'm going to head up to the north. So I'm heading east. I'm trying to close my eyes and visualize the map. It should go east and then north. <clears throat> Still heading east. And there's north, I guess. Yeah. Let's get over there quick before my so runs out. Could run along the road. A thorny succulent. And this looks like some ruins. I actually don't know where I'm at. North. I thought I was running to the... I usually run along the wall. But what might have been the best plan would be to give myself gathering shadows and then just run unseen. Oh. Okay, things turn green. Oh, look at this. Yellow, blue, and blue. The problem is, that'd be a... It's too big of a pull. Okay, so now that I know, we'll come back there when I gain one level. In the meantime, let me taunt, tell my pet not to taunt. It will pull this thing over to the mountainside where we're less likely to get some ads on. We don't want any ads. Ads suck. Okay, so I still have Vampiric Embrace up. I still have Skin Like Nature. Oh, come on, pet. Don't. <laughs> Stupid pet. Oh, well. I have to make a new pet. There we go. Vampiric Embrace procs for 19 damage. I wonder if it's maxed out or if it will go higher. Like 20 damage. It just seems to keep getting better. So the next plan after I gain a level here is I would like to actually go to Temple of Droga. That place gave me a problem last time I went. I fell down... I was stuck. 
but I can fight outside the entrance. Problem is, once you go down, you have to keep going. You can't stop. You have to keep going further in. For that reason, maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> I don't want to have to ask um, Tofu or someone else to rescue me. That would be bad. So maybe I'll skip that one. Where can we go instead? Down near. Let's go to down near instead. So I want to gain one more level. I'm going to head over to down near. All right, there's another victim. He's green, but green is still okay. The only ads I have to watch out for are those tigers. I got on my brother's 55 druid and one of the tigers was green, but it still gave XP as a level 55. I just sat and root rotted it on his druid because I had no weapon. See a player running on the road. Oh, Spirit of Wolf is going away. Dang, I'm up 77% XP already. What in the world? Alright, Spirit of Wolf's out. Always remember, keep Fain Death up and active. Ready to use. And don't fight unless you have extra mana just to cast it. That's what's going to keep you alive. Okay, ready to go. I got a new pet. I told him to stop a stop taunting. Don't ever taunt. That way he never takes aggro. I don't need him to take aggro. He dies in seconds. Okay. So that's the next target. Gulfing Darkness. I'm going to do Fear next. Attack. Okay, go ahead and attack him. Heat Blood next. And I'm just going to sit down and just regain mana. He's at 95% life. And this is me just sitting here, chilling next to the bush. The shrub. Here he comes. Three to a fear. Alright. I don't have enough to recast um, Engulfing Darkness, so that's my snare spell. See if we can get enough mana to recast it. <clears throat> let's just recast it. Actually, let's let's let it run out and let it, let him come back to me. Here he goes. Perfect timing. And my dots are running out. So he's already down to like sixty percent life. All right, I guess you can do that way. But what would be better if I had a lot of mana and I did this mid-fight, midway through the fight, I just feared him, and then I would just turn and use life draw over and over and over. So by the time he comes back, he's down like maybe 15% life, and then I'm up 15% life because I'm taking all his life away. That's an easy way to do it. Easy. More tells. You can get another knight. <clears throat> so that was a Sarnak Berserker, and up ahead is a Sarnak Knight. But I think I need to meditate again. I The problem I'm having now is I don't need to. I don't need to use any of these mana spells or songs, or I don't need to use dots or anything to finish these off, but I am. It's more fun to do it. Alright, start out using Heat Blood to, to pull him towards me. Uh, I'm just going to tank him. Too many mobs around here to use fear. Yeah. So I'll just keep him up here next to me. See, it's no problem and he's blue. I'm already 79% of the way through the level. I'm going to fight right next to that area with other Sarnax corralled in that ruin. And this is such easy XP right now.
What's, what are we going to be? 81%? Seems like I get 2% per kill. Dude, I went from 79 to 82. That's almost 3%. Well, it is 3%. I mean, I can sure drowned it up. Dang. All right, let's see what we can find now. It's still dark, it's still raining. When is it gonna get daylight in here? When is it gonna stop raining? I think it sucks that it's been raining in real life where I'm at, like bad for the last week, it seems. Like every time I get out of the car and I have to go across a parking lot, it's pouring on me. I've got a heavy backpack on, I'm juggling things in my hand. As soon as I step out of the car, I got that cold rain just drenching me. And it's, oh, it's so irritating. So that's been going on in real life. So in this game, I wish it could just become sunny. Give me some warm tropical vibes, please. Not this cold wintry vibe. All right, so what am I gonna do to start out with? I think I'm just gonna send the pet in right now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tank Seems to be the most efficient, quick way to do it. Not even using Vampiric Embrace. I've got a good healthy amount of mana ready at my disposal, 312. I like to play with low amounts of mana just because I'm so impatient. I want to start a new fight right away. Tomorrow is going to be nice to work. I might even bring... Look, tomorrow... I'm going to bring my MacBook to work, and I'm going to try to play some EverQuest while I'm at work. Shh. Let's see if I can pull it off. I'm going to have to bring my mouse. I'm going to try to play EverQuest at work tomorrow. Okay, we got him down. Easy. So when he runs, I'm just going to life draw him. There he goes, let's just life draw. Down to 15%. Down to 12%. Down to 9%. Down to 5. And I'm almost up to 90% life already. That's so easy. That's one of the cool things about being a Shadow Knight versus being a warrior. Stackable loot, always welcome. Give me that succulent sap. Wonder what that is, succulent sap. It's like cactus sap, aloe vera, and you can drink it. I've seen like survival videos or survival things where they like somehow put a hole into a cactus and then they withdraw like water or something from it and drink it and there's that movie Nacho Libre when he's out in the desert area in Mexico he takes his machete and chops off the top of that cactus and then he starts eating the inside of it like what the heck is that can you eat that I don't know if I would eat that here we go maybe it's a way to survive and get your Hydration in the desert. He has his trusty machete. Okay. Pet, get in there and do your business. I want to use taunt a bit now. So, harm touch is ready and primed. I'm up to 84% XP. I'll level in no time. But the question is, if I'm leveling here, I'm missing content in another area. So I'd like to try to hit up as many dungeons as possible on this guy. Or I can just save those dungeon content for my monk. What happened? Oh, I got a buff. Oh, tofu! Incoming, he says. There's tofu. Nice, man. Tofu got the hookups. So, now we have Spirit of Wolf. Can we go to Del Nier? 
Okay, I'm gonna try to level up and then hit down near. Yeah. I'm working on a new vid. I'm at 86%. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's okay. Watch this. Fear. Check it out. Boom. Oh, this one's only a greenie. Oh, I'm not even attacking. What am I doing? Pet's going to finish the other one off. I'll finish this off. He saved my pet. So where are we at now? 86%. <laughs> Pet finished the other one off. Yeah, we got shields. I'll tell you what, let's do fear now. I'm trying to use my thorns now. Heck yeah, check it out. I'm up to 89% now. Let's do fear. Engulfing darkness if possible. I'm out of mana. All right, we got that one. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. There's so much action. So, they, I got them both attacking me. So I gotta tell my pet not to taunt because I want to get aggro. Because right now I got thorns on. Dude, we're 89% through this level. We're gonna be there quick. These are both blue to me too. Make sure there's not too many ads. All right, are we almost there? Sweet, 92%. All right. I think we'll have time to level, finish this level, and then run over through Worst Local Woods while we still have the spell active. All right, so Tofu hooked us up pretty well there. Boosted up our leveling to the new speeds. We're so close. I think I got a few kills to go and I'll hit level 37. Dude, I got Chloroplast active too. That's crazy. That's loco. Jerobob. He looks like he's all ready to go. Jerobob wants to fight. Uh, tell you what, sit down, pet up here where it's safer and I'll bring something to us all right oh, I love this music in the background all right we're gonna go for this pet now I mean this tiger I love Spirit of Wolf combo. Um, what else should I bring? 
Well, let's just we got spirit, we got thorns up. Let's just use them real fast. Where are skellies at? We're gonna get another ad here. Bring it, cockatrice. I can handle these two. My skelly's up there. He's not fighting though. Here he comes. Running into the action. He's like, put me in coach. I'm ready to play. All right, here we go. All right. See, this thing's already down a bit in life because of the thorns. Now, what can we do? Ain't no problem. Just be careful with ads. There's another one. Come on. Back, 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 back. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know if those cactus will jump in. But if they do, it'll be okay. It's just, we're getting it kind of close. Two more kills and we're going to level. Maybe three. Ah, oh, there goes thorns. Okay. So I'm gonna sit and just try to use um <clears throat> try to use life draw. Is that gonna attack my pet or not? Nope. Good. Here we go. Life draw. Really? It takes a lot of mana. Damn, it takes 63 mana? Why? That's a lot of mana. Alright, we'll do that though. We'll do the, we'll do the life draw just to get some life back. Alright, let's finish him off now. This isn't the ding, but we're getting one more kill closer. We have Chloroplast active, so I'm regenerating life. One kill would go, guys. All right, let's get up here. So I'm f wondering, can I use the bankers and can I use the merchants and over there? I think I probably can if I use like a feign death technique or something like that. Like maybe I... No, no, I don't think I can, even with Feign Death. But I can turn things in, like Crust Rewards. All right, let's just go ahead and get the ding. Pet, where is you? <clears throat> this is it. After this, I'm going to go set up on the side of the mountain and rest for a good while. And... Um, then we're gonna head over to down near even though this is a great area to level I can level here for about two more levels. I Mean it's a pretty chill place to level But I'm just gonna head over to the other area in fact while I'm finishing this guy off I'm gonna pull up the map and see where I need to go So I got the map of over there up We're near the marking number 10 I think 10 is the Sarnak infested ruin, so we just need to go no straight north. If we follow the road north, it'll take us to the Worst Look Woods zone line. So that's where I'm headed to now. Here we go, guys. Level 37. Ding. Here it comes. All right, let's head over to Del Nier. We did it. See you guys when I get there, down to your next stop. And there it is. There's a zone line that goes to Worslook Woods. Next stop, Worslook Woods. Let's make ourselves invisible while we get there. Inside Worslook Woods now, we could follow the road. But I know we just need to head north to the coastline. So let's do that now. We're going to go through the caves and the brute caves. I'll go on the road for just a little bit, and then we'll head straight north. Oh, this music is going pretty intense. It's raising my blood pressure. 
too much blood pressure raising. All right, let's see what's in here. An exile. He's still too green to even fight. Am I that powerful? Apparently I'm super powerful now. I feel powerful. All right, here again is a scaled wolf elder. I remember I've killed these several times. <clears throat> and I never got the magic shoes you can get. All right, let's see if this will be the kill. that Finally get those magic boots you can get. That's for that Ixar Monk solo self-found journey. I did get magical boots, but not off these guys. This is probably the fifth or sixth one I've killed. Still nothing good. Anyways, proceeding forward. Still give you XP. They're dark greens. Zone line to down there. Right away I'm greeted by something. Something small and fierce. And he's still blue to me. This is perfect. I didn't have time to cast a spell for a pet. I had no time for anything. He was just standing right here at the entrance. But let's work up skills for this level 37. I haven't started gaining any skills yet. Nothing has gone up yet. Not even like dual wield or double attack or offense or anything. I don't get dual wield for this class, I know. Why isn't my skills raising? Uh oh, he's got a friend coming. Why aren't my skills going up? There he goes. I thought it was broken for a second. Hello, Coworks Ixar. How do you do? Oh, he's casting spells. What did he just cast? All right, we're already 3% through this level. What do you guys think? Am I doing much better than the monk? Am I managing better? Of course, my monk was never this high level. This is as well as blue to me I'm getting tormented uh oh halt all right double tag just went up there we go uh can we get that to the pet maybe so let me just sit here, get enough mana to recast a pet, and then I'll go a little deeper in this area. I'm now 5% of the way through the level and down here. It gets really hairy when I turn around this corner because I know there's some Shadow Knight versions. Better be ready for harm touch. I think I want to have a pet ready so I can send them in. Okay, guys, I think I'm ready to go a little further in here. Almost full life. Time to cast Restless Bones. and. The reason I need this guy is he's going to absorb harm touch if I run into some Shadow Knights. If I go forward and take the first two lefts, I'll go into a room called the L Room. Should I read what the L Room is? Let's just read that real quick. I didn't actually read it. So, L Room. It just says L Room in quotes, so I don't know what that means. Oh, look at this. Somebody came in. Who else is in there? Just me and this guy. And he is a shaman. <clears throat> uh, hope he's not trying to cast uh, uh, Spirit of Wolf on me because I have a pretty strong one. Alright, what can we do? This is my first time really exploring in here. We're gonna take the first two lefts. If he needs help, I mean, I, I guess I could partner, but I this video is already 30 minutes long and I was just gonna to get to down the air to in, make an end point for my next episode. Okay, there's a dwarf. Green, okay. First two lefts, there's, this is the L room. Pet, get in there. 
before we get some ads. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them here. My pet's gonna get ads. Yep, I knew it. That stupid dwarf in the hallway. So I'm trying to get all the taunting. I want them to attack me. Pet taunt off. Please, everything attack me. Leave the pet alive. I needed him. There we go. And my goal right now is just to keep the pet alive. Why am I not attacking anything? Oh my gosh, I'm not attacking anything. Oh, overwhelmed. And I got my back to these enemies. Good. Oh, he gave me quickness. That shaman really helped me out too. All right, so I had to do that so he wouldn't flee. Perfect. Now we'll attack this thing here. This should die quick. And it shouldn't flee. Nice. Guys, we're now still 5% of the way through level. These are green kills. Oh gosh, something else came behind me. That's why this is a bad spot to fight in. Why are you fleeing? You have a you have a pal nearby. All right, so apparently these things flee. Ugh, this is not the spot to fight because everything running down the hallway is going to add on to you. I'm actually a little stressed out. But our skills are raising quickly. That's good. My pet is hanging on there. We've got a huge pool of life. 2,000 hit points. All right, that didn't run away. Good. Coerced Ixar. Why am I not targeting you? There he goes. Perfect. So I'm going to use Engulfing Darkness on him because I anticipate he'll flee when he's low life. And we don't want him going down the hallway picking up stragglers. Okay. <clears throat> Getting into this room has been a challenge. And if I don't get any more ads walking through the hallways, I'll be happy. There he goes. He's trying to run. Let's start looting corpses. Nice, an opal. That's about 17 platinum. I don't know. Canines. I guess you could turn those in. Inferior to Vi. There we go. Pet, let's step inside. And then let's sit and rest and lick our wounds because I'm going to have to fight something here. So this looks like they are not necromancers. It looks actually like they are magician class. That's going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough fight there because they're blues. The only reason I'm going to try this is because I have the buffs active. I have a lot of good buffs. See you guys when I'm ready. I'm going to do this last fight and then we're going to at the end of the episode. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to do this fight. Pet's full life. I'm going to give myself Empiric Embrace. This is not going to be easy. I don't know. I've got four things in here that are all blue that are going to attack me. I've got my buffs active, so I want to do this very quickly. I don't have Harm Touch available, but I have Quickness, Nimble, two health point buffs, Spirit of Wolf in case I need to flee, and Storm Strength. So... I'm going to just go ahead and I wish I had a root spell, but I don't. I'm going to target probably this coerced norm here first. I'm not sure which one is the magician, but we're going to get the magician first, actually. Yeah, we'll get the magician first with this pet. So in about two seconds, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a dot. We're going to do heat blood. Here it goes. Oh my gosh.
<clears throat> and I'm rooted to the ground. I'm sorry about clearing my throat a lot. We're rooted now, so I can't run if, even if I wanted to. That's why I gotta get this one dead. Oh, it's the, it's the Earth Elemental that's rooting me. Okay, get the Earth Elemental next, so I'm not rooted. I'm down to 60% life. I'm not gonna get nuked anymore, but I'm still getting rooted, which is the issue. Issue. Okay, the pet's almost dead. We'll be okay once the pet's dead. Pet dead. All right, gnome next. Blue. I could actually just stay in this room and just kill them as they pop if I break this up. Pet, you want to take their tack, tack their backs? Yeah, you tack their backs. All right, we did it. Thanks to all the buffs that I've been given and thanks to the great gear that I've been donated to. Um, otherwise, I would have probably fought two of these and died and logged off complaining. EverQuest is so unfair, and it is. And being bound all the way in North Kinos, I mean, I take huge risks in this game, more than most people. This is up in Gulfing Darkness, anticipating that he's going to run away. Hopefully he does. Nope, he didn't run. I wanted to life draw him a couple times. There we go, one life draw on him at the end. What kind of loot did we get? Canine teeth. No meat. Sap of piety? Wow, 13 damage, 36 delay. That could even be used by a monk. Whoa, my monk could use that. Except, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot, 2.5. Nice. Put that in my bag. Let's get rid of the no meat. More no meat. Dwarf meat. Ooh. More canines. And what is this? Fine still. Thank you. All right, guys. We broke up the room. This is down near. We're just starting out. I'm going to go back to the entrance, though. Which means if I come back here, I'd have to re-break the room up. Which wouldn't be great. Uh, but it has to be done. Oh, stop. I think I'm heading my way back to the entrance. Hopefully I'm heading to the entrance. This thing is dark green. They keep interrupting me. They can't even heal to keep up with the damage output. My damage output is amazing. More canines. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> I hope I'm going towards the entrance. I remember I take the first two lefts and I get to the entrance, so I just took a right and a right again, so this should be going towards the entrance. Next thing I know, I'm going to turn a corner and be in a room and get harm touched by like three things at once. Instant death. Let's go ahead and engulfing darkness just in case they run. What is up ahead? I can't tell. Oof. I got damage for 26 points of damage. I resist a cast force spell. All right. Now let's... This is the way out, right? Yeah, it is. All right, guys. I'm going to camp here. Thanks for watching. This is the episode. We made it to down here. Met a bunch of cool people. I can't remember the guy who gave me some buffs in here. I wish I knew his name. Level 34 shaman. Very cool dude. And then, of course, Tofu hooked us up. Big. Next episode will be in Dalnir. I might go a little deeper in here. I'm going to hurry up and save these buffs, so let's camp out now. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye.